Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. This time around, it looks like Astro Rock is in red eye. A uh, lot of Nigerians have been wondering what's up, what is going on in Astro Rock. There seems to be one section talking more often, the other section seems to be generally very quiet and calm over so, so many things. Well, as we speak, it looks like um, there's some a lot of things in the red eye, in the realm of the spirit, as men of uh, Timber and Caterpillar, quote unquote, are beginning to talk. And they are saying this futuristically and insisting that Nigerians should watch out. A lot is going to come out from Aso Rock that will shake not just Nigerians, but generally the whole atmosphere of economic and political uh, surroundings of Nigeria. But before we go to the newspaper to find out what it is, they are saying that we should be expecting from Aso Rock, good or bad, it's left for you to decide. Like it, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You'll see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Where the leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church Primate Ayodele has predicted a clash between President Muhammad Buhari and his vice Yemi Osibanjo. Mm. Primate Ayodele also disclosed that some of Buhari and Osibanjo's aides will also clash. In a series of prophecy issued in his church, the clergyman also warned Buhari to be very careful with his movements from October to December this year because his convoy will be attacked. He urged the Nigerian government to ensure that the presidential jet is put on order or rather put in order to avoid crisis private primate ayodele said there will be threats in the villa and i'm seeing confusion in the villa buhari will lose one of his aides there's going to be a clash between buhari and osibanjo and the aides mark my word I'm not the one that said it is Primate Ayodele that said I'm only quoting him. Besides this, the people of Southwest will pick against Osibanjo mm, because people Tinubu group will cause problem for him. Swaga will be swept on swept away because they have not done any good plan. There's going to be a there's going to be problems in Swaga. A, apart from this, Tinubu's effort will not be appreciated. EFCC will expose a lot of things. Bawa will do a very good job, but will not be appreciated. Buhari's ministers will be indicted, and it will cause rancor among other ministers, which will lead to the res resignation of a minister in Buhari's cabinet. Another permanent pastor will die. Mm. Buhari should be careful in his outings during the 10th, 11th, and 12th month this year so they don't attack his convoy the presidential plane should be put in proper shape to avoid technical problems nigerians have taken to the social media to react if you see the kind of prayer they are praying eh? <laughs> you ask yourself this is how well we love our people it's a serious issue i tell you nigerians are not joking and they are actually making that stand known we're going to take cross cross section of some of the commentary before going to a uh, critical analysis of this no no holds bad. This one here says Buari and Osibanjo are already clashing. The team just never reached spiritual level. Every time Baba travels, Osibanjo will make progress, but Baba will return and start back pedaling Nigeria back into Stone Age. It's clear they are clashing, but what but whoever will wipe the tears of the masses and restore good fortunes of the people, may God aid them. Everything else now story. Let everybody repent. And accept Christ sincerely because only God is the way out of Nigeria's complex problem. I tell you, this one here is a Gaskia, that is it. This one here is a Umbanka. Who should say Umbanka again? I guess that should be um, uh, house, I guess. This one here is a child. You are right, my brother. There's only God that can solve our problem. This one here is a okay. Oh, have we not repented enough in this South? Okay, are you saying that we should not repent? We should go ahead and do what now? We should kill ourselves. We are not serious, man. Let's tell, tell ourselves that we need God as much as we can. We must stay strong. We must stay, we must stay focused. But let's find out what Nigerians are saying because Nigerians are reacting. Some of them are quite very brutal. So I say because the sins and the atrocities of Nigerians is heavier than all the mountains in the world put together. How will positive things emerge? Who says that? Look, the, the only thing with us is that... Um, we when things happen we don't keep quiet we we scream it we shout it at the rooftops it doesn't mean that other countries don't go through what we're going through just that uh our own men men our own is actually at the rooftop let's tell ourselves the truth our own is at the rooftop 
pay the level of lawlessness they will ban it and ravaging the whole nigeria it just you begin to wonder is it that our people are overwhelmed you have seen this the last video we just uploaded how uh one of the security personnel screamed out that look this whole thing of banditry is coming more political than security security the way we're looking at it that actually they are supposed to give them weapons but they are not giving them because they that sometimes they want to go after band they tell them come on don't go that way you know these are things we're looking at lives doesn't have duplicates just one and these are the things that are coming out from the same one nigeria is a serious issue i tell you we need to start looking beyond ethnicity and start thinking how we can rebuild nigeria but it can only come from you and i but let's continue this one here is saying who really are the beneficiaries of this man's professors well time will tell this one here is saying be very careful with the men of god because you are not the one that called them to, to serve okay they're actually berating uh the man the young guy above that called out the 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 that called out prime your daily in a lot of nigeria some of the comments here and um just uh, just let me summarize so that we don't go into much of it some of some of the comments are calling out the prime your daily himself saying that it's more of a political analyst is a political pundit than a, a prophet that sometimes he looks at the at he looks at the red uh, political uh, uh, arena and uh, then he will now wake up and make his prophecies i don't know how true that is i guess it's one person that maybe he has been praying and god has been revealing things to him i wouldn't know i'm not his god i didn't bring him i didn't i, I didn't bring him to you know into issue of ministry but one thing is certain everybody can see it even the blind can see that right now you know a lot is at stake insecurity is ravaging everyone nigerians are screaming nigerians are tired nigerians want better change not a backward change but better change and if you look at some of the policies made by uh, Professor Yemi Subanjo, you just notice that he's trying to do a lot of amendments. Look at Empower. I think it's his brainchild. Empower has been his brainchild. All this issue of, um, um, I think, household scheme at some point. Although we are yet to get full details on that. I think they kicked it off at some point. They not, not, I don't think they said I've given any beneficiary yet. All those things are his brainchild. You keep seeing tips and here and there, you know, of him trying to see how he can revive uh, the Nigerian youth, those who are not working, trying to actually trying his best, you know, and we keep hearing banditry everywhere. So sometimes this issue of insecurity, you know, banditry here and there is, you know, bringing the whole effort they do into north, still not to the point that it looks as if they're not doing anything, you know. I'm actually referring to you, Professor Emil and you see some of his you know programs but the insecurity is overwhelming it because one of the first cardinal the cardinal thing you should do as any government official is to ensure first that there's security of lives and property then economic they will they just gradually be an economic boom but when you are trying to do economic boom and there's no security it's going to invest you know why well, those people that will come and you know to, uh, trade that everybody it's not just recently some hours ago that bandits a um, uh, uh, kidnap a traditional ruler ah adrife let's put in the comment 